The reason that I am going to win is because my teammate here is going to help me. We're a team. We're going into this together. We have been friends for 10 years. We've been co-workers for 10 years. And we're going to win season 10 of Biggest Loser. I've been, the first 18 years of my life, I was normal, like we both were. It wasn't until after high school that we both gained weight. And my excuse is I had kids, and I just never paid attention, and so I didn't ever, the only diet I've ever been on is I tried diet soda about a year ago until I heard about the negative effects of aspartame, and that was it. So that's the only thing I've ever really done to be healthy. Yeah. Well, I'm Lisa Lee, and I go by Lisa Lee. Um, I'm 46. I was very active um, as a teen. Um, I did cheerleading, dance, sports, and after I graduated, everything changed. And I'm an emotional eater. Food was my comfort, so I just kept eating. And I got myself up to 389 pounds. And um, I thought I was going to die one night, and I decided to do gastric bypass. And I know you've had someone on before that had it most recently. Mine was in 2001, so it's been nine years, and I did good. I lost a couple hundred pounds, but I'm still over 200 now. And I need help to get the rest of it together. Uh, nothing's not typical for any other overweight person about Daria and I. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I am, I've just never been taught, you know. I've been taught to, to just buy what's at the store, you know. I mean, I've never really paid attention and the reason that I want to be healthy is I've got three kids and you know everybody thinks they're healthy because they're all gymnasts and they look like they're in great shape and you know and I try to monitor what they eat to a certain extent but you know I'm not we're not counting fruits and counting vegetables and things like that and so I've been busy taking care of them that I'm not taking care of myself and how can I be a role model for them if you know if I'm not even taking care of myself and and it's embarrassing and that's the problem is you know I take care of them and you know they've got a they've got a fat mom and I don't want my kids to have a fat mom anymore especially when we go to gymnastics competitions and they've got the fat mom there and also their mom doesn't want to be alone forever I'd like to get a boyfriend one day other than the cardboard cutout that I have she's gorgeous she'll find the right guy I'm actually engaged don't really want to be and I'm trying to avoid the whole situation. So I want a man and you're trying to get rid of him. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. See, typical American. Yeah, because my self-esteem is so low, being heavy. Exactly. And so I don't have the I don't have the guts to move on. Tell him, let's go. Well, I don't even have the guts to get a boyfriend. Look at I am thirty six years old. I haven't even kissed anyone in my thirties. How pathetic is that? Because I know that, you know, I don't want anybody to have to to feel what's under these clothes and you know yeah. I want to be comfortable with myself so that yeah. I can be comfortable with someone else. I've had a hard time being comfortable with myself just because I thought my dad started calling me fat when I was about seven but my mom says he actually started saying that I was fat when I was two. <gasps> so uh, 46 um, to this day I feel inferior. Um, he's always been about appearances and um, the first thing he says when we do talk is, so how are you doing with the weight? And um, I don't think it should be that way. Not at all. At my age, I should be friends with my parents. And I'm not friends with my dad. Not at all. Yeah, what are you doing with it? Well, what did he ever do to freaking help you? What kind of parent is that? Uh, um, he's a bad subject. I don't have much of a relationship anymore. And I had to grovel to him on top of everything else to get the thousand dollars to put down to have the gastric bypass. And he still ridiculed me over that too. And I just said, him, I don't want to die. It was what horrible. A piece. Okay, they do, I've heard bleeps on the show. They edited it out piece of freaking crap. Oh, bad. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't go to the gym because I don't want to be the fat girl at the gym. And I have my dad's We're gonna... head. Or in my head, I have my dad's voice. Tell me, you don't need that. <laughs> or how are you doing with the weight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try this? It's diet. It's just, you know, it's really impacting me. Because it goes back so far. And I want to 
show him that I can be all that I want to be. I don't care what he thinks, but you know what? I want the man to suck it up and eat shit when we win The Biggest Loser. And you know what? If he wants to be my friend then because I'm skinny. Because you're healthy. You're not going to yeah, be skinny. Exactly. We're not trying to be skinny. And that's the thing is, the whole dieting, you know, I that's the reason I want to be the biggest loser. And I'm going to be the biggest loser whether you guys pick us or not. You know, it's just it might take longer if I don't get on the ranch. I'm not going to have the opportunity to get the education that I feel like that's what the ranch provides, you know, eight hours a day, longer than that, ten hours a day. I don't care. But it's really focused on eating right and exercising. There is no easy way out. Gastric bypass, lap band. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure that, you know, I mean, it's successful for people. And But really, I mean, I've always thought there is no magic pill. There is no magic anything, you know. The magic is leading a healthy lifestyle, which unfortunately we're just not taught. You know, I mean, who people don't teach us and we're, you know. But, you know, again, we have to take responsibility for our lives. And so we're taking that responsibility. Whether they pick us or not, we're going to do it, Lisa. Girlfriend, my tubby. That's what they call us at work. We're tubbies because we live in the cube nation. We sit together in a cubicle all day long where I say chained to our desks and, you know, we leave these, live these sedentary lifestyles. We're just not, we're not active and it's not, we're not going to, we're, we're going to, what we're going to do is we are, the company that we work for is the second largest employer in the nation next to the government. And so what we're going to do is we're going to prove that even people that are stuck in a cube all day, they can do it. You know, we're going to do it, and we'll, we'll show America that they can do it, too. It can be done. It's really all, it's all about willpower and making up your mind to do it. You know, I mean, I made up my mind that I wanted to quit smoking when I was 35, and I did it. Cold turkey. And I made up my mind that I'm going to be the biggest loser, and we're doing it. Yep, we are the biggest losers. I'm, we're ready. We're ready. Right. It's. We didn't apply before because we weren't ready, and now we're ready. And it's meant to be because we went to the, we were at the very last casting. Mm -hmm. This is the very last minute. This tape is due in like 10 hours. 10 hours, right? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. It's due 10 o'clock at night. It's due tomorrow. So we're going to do it. The um, And there's a lot more of us to see. Well, <laughs> literally, and um, you'll see it. We'll show them. We're just going to do it. You know, we'll, you'll love us. We're team players. That's another thing. The, um, we're going to get on the ranch. and yeah. we. What else? Well, there's so many things about us. Everybody's going to love us. We're or so much us. alike. Or hate us. No, they'll love us. Who doesn't love us, Lisa? Yeah, Everybody exactly. loves us. They're going to love us. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the positive th attitudes that we bring every day. We're both kind. We're both positive. We're both generous. We're, we're both mean. We're both mean. When you, we don't like BS. No. We don't like two-faced. We don't like that freaking lady right now that is playing the game and the game just played her. Adios. We're there to focus on the big picture. The big picture is being healthy. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to do. Yep. Yeah. And that's what we need you to pick us for. We need you to pick us so that we can we can show America, or we can show ourselves, we can show everybody that we can do it. We've got the support of our family, our friends, our co-workers, our management, our upper level management. Everybody's behind us, and we just need you guys to be behind us, too, and give us that chance, give us that opportunity. And big things come from Bakersfield. Big things. Big We're people. We're big that it's going to get smaller, but Bakersfield's not just a hip town. Big, it's a bat town. Big Tell them about town. that. Yeah, it is a bat town. Um, we actually, I think, lead the nation in heart disease mm -hmm. and obesity. Yeah, like we're great. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you know, we're the next big thing to come out of Bakersfield. A little. But we want to come back in a little smaller. And I really just want to do a back yeah. handspring. My yeah. ten-year-old, she's that close. I'm gonna beat her. I told her she better watch it yeah. because six months and I got her. Well. You know what? We're devout fans. If you choose us or not, we decided we're going to do it together. Although, we want to do it with you. She's we Daria need... and I'm Lisa. Don't forget us. You can't forget us. You won't forget us. You won't forget us. Everybody loves us. Thanks, and you will too. Sister. Give America a chance to love us too. Bye. Bye.